Hi, Elton. I will make a quick introduction about myself now. My name is Nguyễn Hung Nghĩa. Now I am a sophomore of Vietnamese German University. My submission today is front lower control arm of my car, Toyota Innova. In the left hand is my initial design, and in the right hand is where it's placed in the car, it's placed in the suspension system of the car. Here is my final design, and let's see how I do it. Here is my CED file. The reason I chose front lower control arm is when I was looking for the design of LJ contest. I tried to shoot things in my daily life. It turned out my car has a lot of potential components that can be optimized. And front lower control arm is the best choice among them. Just imagine that you can redesign things that you can use for everyday like car. It's so excited. So let's look around it and see how we can apply force, support, connection to solve this model. Because my major is mechanical engineering, so I think it's worth my time, my energy, and also my knowledge from the uni to try to practice LTE Inspire 2022 and research my model. First, we need to simplify this model so that we can optimize it better. What we need to do now is find the part that we want to optimize. We go to part, go to design bay, and then click on it. Now we can optimize the raw part. To do that, we need to put support forces and then we can analyze it to check if the condition we apply is good or not. These are my conditions. I apply support on this hole and the force on three direction as well as it for the other hole. And also I put on the part that we connect with the steering knuckle there. Then I connect this to washer and apply free vertical support on that. Let's use the table force to modify and see how much we apply on this model. We should check the model again, make sure every force is in correct position. Next, we are able to analyze it. We choose element size and then just symbol run. After analyzation, we need to check all the case of stretch. We have percent of view, I think it's good. Tension, compression, good. Mass C straight, nothing go wrong. For me straight, okay. And reasonable straight, and then the reasonable strength. What I focus on and also the most important factor of safety. Here we can see some red area near the washer. But it's still above the risical point because the minimum safety factor is 1.2, not so bad. Then we can see how the move model move and shake. It seems so funny to watch its movement. Let's look around it. Let's go back to the design. Now we apply shape control on the model. Choose symmetric blend to make sure it makes the shape that we want. Now we need to move the blend down a little bit. Then use split row to control the direction. After that, choose optimization. Mini mass is what we want. Next, safety factor. And minimum thickness constraints. Then run. We get our optimization here. Now we increase its density to make sure it is able to manufacture it. By looking around, we can see one side of the washer doesn't have anything below. So how can we deal with it? First, I want to connect to washer by increase the density. Then, I find polymer to add solid under the washer. I will skip this for safe time, but I will put it on the optional reactivity video. After modifying the polynums, we have all the faults selected to have the better look. Now, this thing is ready to fit in polymer. Finally, we get our last design. Let's look around to see how beautiful it is. But to more safe, we need to analyze this design again to make sure everything is alright. We check all the lot case one by one. And the most important, the safety factor. 
seem that the minimum number is perfect. 1.0. This is all we need. This design will be safe. We don't need to worry about it. I love this design so much. It looks like an art with a breathtaking lines and curve. And I hope you are feeling that also. I sum up what I did in this slide after the progress. The final is design is reduced 50% from the initial one. Here I don't show the exact number of weight because it seems to be not 100% correct. So to get this number, I take the weight ratio of the final and the original one. Here what I learned from Arte Inspy is optimization is not too hard. All we need is to understand our model clearly. And Arte is very fun and easy to use. And last but not least, Thank you for your time and listening.